Transformers King Grimlock is a five-issue limited comic series where Grimlock, the powerful and fierce Dinobot leader, finds himself transported to a fantasy world called Mononia. In this realm of swords, magic, and mythical creatures, Grimlock must battle against evil forces that seek to dominate the land as he contends with barbarian warlords, sorcerers, and dragons. Grimlock is seen not just as a warrior, but as a potential hero and king. So let's take a look at issue number one. Relentless, stubborn, and uncontrollable, Grimlock and his Dinobots have always clashed with Optimus Prime's more compassionate approach to warfare. As they join forces to defend Harmonix from rogue mechanibals, their opposing ideologies are made crystal clear. Prime plans to honor Cybertron's agreement with Mastermouth and send the surviving mechanibals to Nebulon Station for sentencing, but Grimlock has other ideas. He believes in making a statement and does so by brutally splitting the aliens in two with his sword. Prime asserts that mercy is a strength, but before their debate can continue, the ground beneath them suddenly pulses with a strange green light. Prime suspects it's just an automated security field, but Grimlock senses something off. With a swift move, he shoves Prime aside moments before the light flares up and completely engulfs him. In an alien jungle, a cockatrice flies through the dense undergrowth until it's crushed under Grimlock's massive fist as he materializes. Disoriented, the Dinobot leader struggles to understand where he is and what just happened. Attempts to contact Prime yield nothing, leaving him uncertain but determined. Suddenly, a pack of enormous feline-like beasts charge him. Despite their size and numbers, their attacks barely scratch his metal exterior. Thinking quickly, Grimlock shifts into his dinosaur mode, swatting them aside with his tail before incinerating the rest with a fiery blast. As Grimlock reverts to his robot mode, a voice congratulates him on his victory over the Leodon pack. He turns to see a group of unfamiliar humanoids who greet him as their savior. Their leader, Arnak, introduces himself as the Elder of Valorift and the one who summoned Grimlock to Mononia. He explains that long ago, Cybertronians led by the Golden One liberated Mononia, but time flows differently here. The Golden One's power has since twisted him into a tyrant. The rebels, unable to defeat him alone, cast a spell to summon the Cybertronian hero who once saved them, Optimus Prime. Grimlock bristles at the mention of Prime and snarls that if they want him, they're out of luck. Despite the disdain from his daughter Arco, Arnak pleads with Grimlock, explaining that their spell exhausted their power, and the only way Grimlock can return home is by helping them defeat the Golden One. Meanwhile, in a radiant citadel, the Golden One uses his enchanted abilities to spy on Grimlock. Amused that the rebels summoned the wrong Cybertronian, he tells his servant Clata that while Optimus might have united them, Grimlock is a reckless brute whose arrogance will only sow more division. Arco voices her frustration, fearing an imminent attack from the Golden One. She urges her father that if their savior won't fight, they'll have to do it themselves. Arnak reveals that the Golden One punishes worshippers of the Anti-Sun by transforming into a dragon and burning everything in his path. Though Grimlock could be their only hope, he refuses, declaring that strength comes from fighting their own battles. Arnak insists that helping them is the only way Grimlock can return home. But the Dinobot leader stubbornly stomps off into the wilderness, as one of Arnak's allies remarks that Optimus would never abandon them. Grimlock fires back that he's not Optimus, and never will be. If it means being stranded in Mononia forever, so be it. Arco, undeterred, follows him. She recognizes that Grimlock despises weakness, and so does she. As Grimlock battles a trio of monstrous Cyclops wielding Autobot-marked weapons, Arco tracks his path of destruction, determined that if she can't persuade Grimlock to help, she'll find a way to force him. Well, issue one does exactly what it needed to do. It's setting up the story, introduces us to our main characters, and is starting to define them in the context of the plot's central conflict. It was a bit of a quick read, but I enjoy fantasy and Transformers, and to see those two merge together is kind of fun. There wasn't a whole lot in this issue to really savor, but I felt like it gave me enough substance that I really want to know what happens next. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this issue. Don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel for more. And stay tuned for my breakdown and review of Transformers King Grimlock issue number two. I'll see you guys next time.